Each week, American History TV's American Artifacts visits museums and historic places. You're looking at Peterson House here in Washington, D.C., where President Abraham Lincoln passed away at 7.22 a.m. on April 15th of 1865. Up next, a tour of the former boarding house located across the street from Ford's Theater, where Abraham Lincoln was shot 150 years ago. Around 10.15 or 10.20 p.m., the doors of Ford's Theater burst open. And first dozens, then hundreds, and over a thousand people came rushing out those doors screaming. At first, some people thought the theater was on fire. And then they heard the shouts, Lincoln's been shot, the president's been killed, burn the theater, find the assassin. And that got the attention of the residents of this boarding house. The first person who noticed what was happening was a guy named George Francis, who lived on the first floor in the two front rooms. And he came outside and walked into the street, and he could only get halfway across. And people were screaming the president was dead. He walked right up to the president's body as he was being carried across the street. Another boarder on the second floor, Henry Safford, heard the noise too. He came downstairs and went outside, and he saw the commotion too. And he heard the shouts that Lincoln had been shot. Safford couldn't get to Ford's Theater. There were so many people outside in the street. So he retreated, came back to his house, and went up these stairs and stood at the top of the staircase. And he was up there watching as the soldiers pounded on the door of the house next door and they couldn't get in. And he saw that there was Lincoln in the middle of the street being carried by soldiers and they didn't know where to take the president. So Safford went inside, got a candle, and stood at the top of the staircase and shouted, bring him in here, bring him in here. And Dr. Leal heard that and shouted to the officers and soldiers, take the president to that house. So they crossed the street and came up these stairs. And so as Lincoln was being carried up this staircase, he was still alive, unconscious. And the sight of Abraham Lincoln here at the top of this staircase was the last time the American people saw him alive. So Dr. Leal came in this door, and he told Safford, take us to your best room. Now the hallway's narrow. It was already filled with, with the Lincoln entourage, with the doctors, with the soldiers, and there was a narrow staircase on the right. Well, Safford knew the best room was the front parlor, occupied by George and Hilda Francis. So he reached for the door here. It was locked. He went down to the second door here. This door was locked. Hilda Francis was inside frantically getting dressed. She had seen the president being brought to the house through the front windows. And so she was already dressed for bed, so she wanted to put on clothes. And so she didn't unlock this door either. And all that was left was this little room at the back of the hallway, which was occupied by a Civil War soldier. But he was out for the evening. And so Safford led them to this back room here. And you can see how narrow the hallway is. There's really barely enough room for soldiers to stand on each side of Lincoln and carry him down this hallway. And so they took him into this room and laid him on a spindle bed in the corner. 